Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a buying guide of the Fragrance House Supers Budapest. I know you've probably been hearing a lot about this house going around online. I definitely have. So I wanted to sit down today and share my thoughts on some of their more popular offerings. So what you need to know about this house straight out of the gate is that all of their fragrances are completely beast mode, straight to parfum, made with 100% perfume oils, made with organic materials. And on top of it all, these fragrances are priced really well. I was so shocked to look at the prices of these because this brand honestly could charge three times what they are and the fragrances I think would be worth it at that higher price. So they really are an amazing value. You can pick up any of these fragrances that I'm going to mention around like the 80 to $115 range plus with a discount. I have a discount code with them as well, Erica 10 So if you go through this video and there's one that you're interested in, you can save even more money. But we'll talk about that later. Let's get into this buying guide. So we're gonna start with the fragrance set. I would probably say is the most popular online right now. Of course, we're talking about Morocco. I just want to take a moment to appreciate the bottle. These are very heavy glass bottles and my favorite part about it is that it has a very heavy magnetic cap. See, <laughs> there's nothing more satisfying to me than a nice fitted magnetic cap. And they're pretty durable as well as you can see, you can hang on from the cap and it's not gonna fall, but we don't ever recommend you doing that anyway. It's too risky. But we're gonna be talking about Morocco. This fragrance is inspired by Arabic and European fragrance notes. So you're gonna be kind of getting the best of both worlds in this scent. And you may have seen my first impression. I actually did like a live, I filmed my first reaction ever smelling this over on Instagram. I was literally speechless when I smelled this for the first time. It's a very warm and opulent scent with almond, vanilla, some spices, and amber. Oh, and I also have to take a moment to show you guys the atomizers because this is another like icing on the cake with this fragrance brand. They have some of the best, most satisfying atomizers out there. Look at this. Look at that. I'm spraying so much of this in my room. My room is literally gonna smell like this for a week now, but it is just so freaking sexy to smell. Very nutty with the almond. It's very inviting and very, very, very attractive smelling too. It's blending this creaminess. There's one side of this that is very creamy mixed with these kind of spices and with some sweetness from this vanilla. This is an absolutely stunning vanilla fragrance for a man. So wearable for a man. It's very lightly spiced, but it's done in a way that it really equalizes the vanilla. The vanilla in this is not overly sweet. There's something sweet about this. It's very gourmand, but it's also very aromatic. It's just so balanced that as a man, even if you don't typically like wearing vanilla scents, you're gonna smell this and you're gonna think, wow, I can really rock this because it's just so balanced and so well blended that it doesn't feel like it's overly sweet or overly vanillic. You're not gonna feel that it's too sweet, especially when it's mixed with this really nice nutty almond and very ambery as well. It's a very intriguing scent. It's something that you wanna keep coming back to and smelling more of and very unique for a man to wear. Something exotic feeling too from the spices in this. And it's going to be a running theme. What you'll hear me say about these fragrances, each fragrance is is that it's very strong, beast mode, long lasting. You're not gonna have to worry about the performance of any of these fragrances. So just know you are definitely getting a bang for your buck with these. And these are also engineered in a way as well that they work really well on the skin. They last very long on the skin. It really just sticks to the skin in the best way. It's just a crazy value for around $100. Niche quality, 100%. And it's a scent that is very unique, but it's not going to be challenging for people to understand. Stand. Like you're not gonna feel like you're wearing the most crazy niche fragrance. It's really wearable, it's really well done, and there's a reason that this is the one that everyone is talking about. It's really beautiful. If you like vanillas, if you like things in the realm of like Starlight by Zerjoff, you will love Morocco. So next I want to talk about Kamzat Smesh. Now this is one that really took me, and if I had to pick a favorite out of all of these, out of everything from the house that I've tried so far, 
I think Smesh is definitely going to be my favorite. There's just something about it. And it's in collaboration with the MMA fighter, Cosmot. And I guess he says the word Smesh. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I guess he says Smesh to kind of amp himself up, give himself some energy before a fight and just gets him in the winning mood. And it really is the perfect way to describe this fragrance too. This is a very dominant, very stylish scent. It has blood orange. We have lavender with neroli, cinnamon and spices, cashmere, vetiver, cedarwood, tonka, vanilla, and amber. This is just, oh guys, this is just my type of perfume. There's just, I mean, it's almost hard to describe, but I'm just telling you, there is something about Smash that is just so luxurious, so manly, just so put together and well-rounded. It's just stunning. It's very earthy, it's manly, it's aromatic. Something a little boozy as well. There's nothing boozy listed, but you'll get this kind of like boozy feel and just the slightest touch of this nice balancing sweetness that really in a way kind of makes it even more elegant. Something about this one, I think it's why I like it so much, that reminds me in a way, not even necessarily, like I wouldn't say that they smell the same, but there's some elements of this that reminds me of things like Tony Iommi, by Zerjov and Via Kavor One. You guys know that is my all time favorite perfume. There's something about Smesh that feels like Via Kavor One to me. Something about that cashmere and something about the cashmere, but also just in how special and unique this feels. And once again, so unexpected. This is not like a typical freshy that a lot of men wear. It's something very different, very unique. And I think that that is why I feel so drawn to it. And the quality is just, it's 100% here. Super Super niche, a very luxurious scent with this nice dose of manliness. Very, very slightly gourmand feeling with some fougere vibes. Maybe just a little bit mossy at the end. It is an absolute must have, you guys. Smash is an impression maker. It is a lady killer. I am just so, so impressed by Smash. I. You would have to fight me to get this test strip out of my hand. It smells so amazing. <sighs> I love it so much. So next we have another collaboration with Kamza. We have The Wolf. This is another one that's been getting a lot of attention online lately. And this one is said to embody the feeling of invincibility. This is a very like leathery, fruity type of scent with a very juicy apple, some saffron, a little bit of raspberry. And no, you hear the word leather and raspberry and you automatically think it smells like Tuscan leather. This does not smell like Tuscan leather at all, in my opinion. It, to me, this almost kind of goes more in the realm of something like ombre leather, but with more fruitiness versus Tuscan leather. It doesn't smell like rough cocaine or anything like that. It's a very easy, enjoyable leather scent with some kind of juicy, fruity elements in the background. It's more of like a green, musky, slightly floral leather scent. But I would even describe it as more of like a very smooth suede leather. Once again, this is not like a rugged scent. It's a very elegant leather fragrance. It's not like bad boy rock and roll type of leather vibes. Very smooth, almost suede-like. A little bit closer to the side of things like ombre leather, but there's something different about it. It adds that fruitiness that very juicy fruitiness. And I would say it's unisex as well. If there's any women out there that like leather fragrances, suede leather fragrances, this would be a great one for a woman as well. It's not a soft fragrance in terms of how it wears. It's not a soft projecting fragrance whatsoever. It's very strong, but it just feels like a softer leather. It's not punchy, it's not rugged, it's not going to be offensive. I get something a little like cypriole like slightly to kind of add to that woody accord of this. And there's some cardamom as well that adds a little bit of classiness. Very easy to wear leather with some light juicy fruits. A much better, more affordable option than ombre leather as well, and a little different. So that one is Kamza the Wolf. So another star fragrance from Supers is Memories Gold. This one is the most gourmand so far. There's also something a little boozy about this one. Boozy like cognac, but you get a very distinctive, very realistic caramel note with honey and tonka bean, vanilla, something a little lactonic, a little milky. This is a sexy, intoxicating date night scent. Absolute killer for date night. This is going to make your lady want to eat you. Take that and run with it however you like. But seriously, she will not be able to stop smelling you. It's kind of chocolatey. It mixes so well with this semi 
powdery iris. It's not overly powdery, but there is iris in this and it does add just a touch of something, a little cosmetic-y powdery, but it also adds a lot of elegance and just makes it more wearable. You know, it's not just like a straight up gourmand fragrance. There's something to it that makes it more wearable as a fragrance. Something a little balsamic about it as well, like your burning myrrh with a little bit of booziness. Crazy, crazy sexy date night perfume, especially if you love wearable boozy gourmands. This is just, it is an X level, memories gold. So next up, we're gonna be talking about sweet darkness. Now this is a very unique scent. We have notes of amber, smoke, oud, tobacco, a cannabis note, and a little bit of coffee. You already know this is a very interesting sounding scent. Something a little nutty about this as well to me. And the oud in this is done very, very well. It's minimal, it's not skinky, it's not animalic, nothing like that. It just kind of adds to that smoke accord in sweet darkness. It's a very perplexing scent. The cannabis as well is not necessarily a rough, earthy, like it doesn't really smell like cannabis. It smells more of like an earthy, a little bit dirty patchouli. It's not gonna be overpowering if you don't like cannabis scents, but if you do like cannabis scents, you're going to enjoy this one. This is honestly kind of like going into the realm of like black Afghano, but it's sweeter. It's not as rough. If you're someone that didn't get along with black Afghano just because of how rough and dirty it is, I think that you're going to love Sweet Darkness. It's going to be a great alternative for you. But if you do love something like black Afghano, I don't know if you will really enjoy this as much because it is a little bit on the safer side. It's not going to be as daring as black Afghano. It's still very unique and still something, I, I know I keep saying that about all of the fragrances are unique, but in my opinion, I think that the scent profiles from this house, Supers, they're all different enough. They're likable, they're enjoyable, there's something that everyone is going to appreciate, but they're different enough that there's not gonna be that many people out there in the world wearing scents like these. Like they have this twist to them and they smell different than any other designer scent that you would find in this price range. Honestly, they're even more affordable than most designer fragrances these days, but that's why I keep saying they're so unique. I don't wanna feel like I'm saying, like repeating myself over and over, but there's just something about these that is different than what you'll find generally. So black Afghana, but more gourmand, sweeter, easier to get along with, very mysterious, misunderstood, enigmatic. It's deep, it's dangerous, it's strong, and very seductive for a very bold and daring man. It's really a very thought-provoking scent. If you think that black Afghano was too rough, try this. It's blended much better, a little bit sweeter, a little bit more gourmand, and nowhere near as rough as Black Afghano and much more wearable as well. So next up we have Royal Oud and this is a scent that smells like wealth and luxury. It smells like money, if we're going to be frank. It's a scent for niche fragrance lovers, kind of like in that rose oud kind of DNA. There's no actual rose listed in here. It's interestingly done actually with a jasmine note. There's definitely some twists in this from vetiver. We have some amber with patchouli, vanilla, cloves and saffron, jasmine, lavender. I just picture purple when I close my eyes and smell it. It smells very royal, very ethereal and very powerful. It's a little bit smoky, a little bit balsamic. It's very oriental, but very endearing and very, very bold, very refined, very elevated. I love the balance of this very clean oud. For me, it's more going in like an agarwood direction than like a really punchy oud. Mixed with some sweetness and spice. This is my type of fragrance. One of my favorite DNAs to smell on a man, a beautiful, clean, oud scent with some florals. It's just so handsome and alluring, delicious, and very attractive. So next up, we're talking about feel. And this fragrance is a tribute to Eastern luxury. Very different than any other fragrance that I've talked about so far from this house. This is a very aromatic floral scent with lilac, something sweet and irisy. We have leather in here as well with sandalwood. Very powdery, has something like a chocolate and vanilla accord. There's something sweet here, almost candy sweet, but this very powdery, Iris, very, it's not really overly cosmetic-y, Iris. It's powdery, but it's more of a green, 
like it's half green half cosmetic -y iris it's not really one way or the other it's right there in the middle like you feel like you get the stems you get the leaves there's a greenness here but definitely something on the sweeter side and very powdery from that lilac and iris it's a very dressy floral scent for a man so if you're a man out there that loves to wear florals they love straight up iris scents and you don't mind something that's a little bit sweeter feel is a great one for you it's very dressy like i would recommend to wear this to an event to an occasion to a wedding perfect for like the springtime and it's also a very unique dna for a man to wear so we're going to be finishing up this buying guide with the fragrance purple bronze now this one is interesting. It kind of feels like a hybrid of different scents. It has this very sweet, juicy opening, something fruity like orange. One side has iris, musk, something powdery, and the other side is leathery, it's ambery, very aromatic. It's a very enchanting and elegant and refined scent. Very, very, very unique. I know I keep saying it, but this is super, super unique. This one has more of a leathery suede side that comes out more as it dries. It's just a happy mood perfume. This is one of those types of scents that you smell it, it boosts up your mood, it puts a smile on your face, puts a little pep in your step, just really boosts up your overall confidence. Something very special feeling about it, a really great classy leather scent with a lot of interesting twists and turns throughout this one. All of these scents are very wearable, they're all very high quality. They seriously smell like they could all cost three times more than what they do and you're gonna feel like you're wearing a very expensive niche fragrance when you're wearing them. They're all unique enough but they're not overly challenging or hard to get along with i was really really impressed by this brand discovering their fragrances i still have some samples that i need to go through and because it made such a strong impression on me i wanted to sit down and do this buying guide because i know that they're getting a little bit of very well deserved attention on the internet right now people are really starting to talk more and more about these amazing fragrances so i wanted to sit down and do a more in-depth video for people because i don't think there are too many buying guides like this out there. So if you guys are interested in trying any of these fragrances, the website will be linked in the description below. And remember, I have a discount code with them, Erica10, will get you 10% off your order. I would recommend starting with a discovery set as always. I am just really blown away. The quality is amazing from the unboxing to the scent itself, to the packaging, to the atomizers, to the magnetic caps. It's just a really great buying experience from Supers Budapest. Absolutely stunning blends. I would love to know in the comments below which ones you guys are interested in trying. Have you tried any from the house? What do you think about them? Are you excited to get a discovery set? I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you and I will see you guys next time. Bye.